Canadian election 2019. That's what we're talking about here. It's Tuesday, October 21st, 2019, and we're talking about the Canadian election. We've got a couple of quick things here. We have from the BBC, we have five things to know about Canada's general election. So it's a referendum on Trudeau. There is the Trudeau. And I think that's a good picture of him. This is the BBC, which is, you know, kind of in the progressive camp there. So interesting. And Trudeau is kind of a progressive candidate there. So it's interesting they chose to show this picture. That's interesting. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a good move. If you're on train, Team Trudeau, you should not be showing this picture. Look at this. Orange man bad. Literally orange man bad. I'm not saying he's good or bad. I'm just saying, you know, orange man bad. Literally orange man. He is literally orange man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, then came a disastrous overseas. Oh, okay. So that's what that is. <laughs> that was a. That was pretty bad. He went over to India. That wasn't. That wasn't good because that's what he did, and he looked very patronizing. And that's that's. In a lot of ways, this is kind of. Uh, this is kind of the way of the SJW. Uh, the what well, the way they come. I guess you could say. Patronizing racism is the way I view. I'm not talking about people of color SJWs. I'm talking about white SJWs. They come across to me as very, very, like this, right here. This is the white SJW male. Like, this is it. Racist. Racist. Look, blackface guy. They'll probably get the blackface guy. He said it was, no, 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 man. It was brown face. You know, brown face. That makes it better. Because, you know. Okay, so what is this? Long time ago, Canadians react to Trudeau's brown face image. Okay, let's see what she says. Oh, never mind. Screw you. Screw you. You're going to give me an ad. Take, take your ad and shove it. So there are some fresh faces here. There's Trudeau, Sheer, Singh, and May. And it's really between Sheer and Trudeau. That's essentially Sheer and Trudeau. So we've had... Four years of Trudeau's progressivism in which you've seen, you know, hate speech laws passed and human rights councils with more power and uh, can't say pronouns or stuff. And, you know, SJW politics, it's uh, it has it has Canada has has quickly uh, converted its legal system over to SJW, not not completely, but it's uh, I mean, even in the case of uh, uh, rape. They are now moving towards the, if it's a woman, you need not to be so, you know, if a woman accuses a man of rape, you need not be so uh, so, so insistent on evidence. Kind of the path that they're going down there is uh, due process. Is, is You do away with due process and, man, tyrants, wherever they are, like, whoa, whoa, somebody do away with due process there? Anybody need a leader? I'm available. Due process is gone. I'm available. That's like all the tyrants, all the wannabe tyrants of the world. <laughs> they can smell it. You know, they're walking down the street. I think somewhere someone just stupidly, I mean, lovely, wonderfully for safety, got rid of due process. Let's go. Climate change is a big deal. You know, the thing about this climate change thing is if it is man-made climate change and I'm kind of, I kind of in the camp that it is man made climate change. I'm not sure the degree to which it's going to destroy the planet in twelve years or not. But but I gotta say, judging from the people that are in charge, including okay, so like if the people who are fighting for climate change win, this is who they are, right here. This is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy that's going to figure out the best way. Not him personally, but it's that's them. They're the ones that we're going to put in charge. We're going to give them godlike powers to do whatever they want. That's going to end well. Listen, if if it is true that the only way that the world can be saved is if we hand it over to, to, to big brain people that really know what the heck they're doing, listen, there's no systems out there whatsoever that have given actual big brain people, people that really know what the hell they're doing, and and actually care about the people that they're trying to help, not just simply serving their own little power base. Uh, those people, they don't they don't have any power in the land, and uh, they won't be the people that uh, get selected to uh, come up with the nutty schemes that will probably hasten our demise rather than save us. So if, 
if if it is the end, it's the end. There's no help for us because there's no way these idiots could possibly save us. So let's see where we're at here. And then we got the uh, little bit. The uh, federal election is the 43rd Canadian general election is scheduled to take place on October 21st, 2019 to elect members of the House of Commons to the and then you'll decide who your guy is. And then there's Trebot, Trebot, Trebot. Look at that, man. Current seats. 177. Sure. 9 to 5. 177. 9 to 5. Man, come on, man. When you go to a party and, you know, you're, let's just say the sizage is uh, according to your seatage of your writings, because these are all writings. They're called writings. You know, you show up at the party and you're Andrew. Look at Andrew. Come on. He looks like the guy that this fits, too. No offense, Andrew. Andrew shows up at the party. Just Look at Justin. He's freaking hot. Justin is hot. I would totally hit that. I'm not gay, but I would hit that. As long as he kept his damn mouth shut. Never mind. There are times when he might want to open them. I'm not gay. I'm just saying. But I do want to say, though, that Justin Trudeau, that, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if he keeps his mouth shut, he looks, yeah, look at that guy. He's in charge. You know, he does stuff. As soon as he opens up his mouth, well, you know, we don't say a human kind. We say person kind. Now we're getting rid of man and human. Ah, good job. That's going to get rid of the sexism. That's going to do it. Anyway, Andrew shows up at the party. And uh, Justin pulls out his 177 wad. Yo, baby. Andrew shows up with 95. 177. 95. Dude, how do you even live with yourself when you show up at the party, Mr. Andrews? I don't even get that. Oh, you know what? You guys can't even see the picture here. This is a shame because you really got to see the picture. Where is this? Andrew, Andrew, this is a terrible thing that uh, we don't have this in here. You know what? You're not going to see the picture. There's, there's another one of Justin. There's Andrew. There he is. This is what I'm talking about. That's my guy. So there you go. That is, uh, these are the, the main candidates. And really, it's just these two. It's just these two. One of these is going to be the next premier or something of Canada. And it could be this guy. It could be this guy that's like, he shows up, hey, Justin. Justin, how many ridings you got? Look at this. He's got 95. 95 ridings. Look at that. Look, check that out. Oh, you know, I only have 177. He says that in brown face, by the way. And uh, Canadians headed to the polls on Monday to vote in the 2019 federal election. Will Justin Trudeau's liberals or Andrew Scherer's conservatives manage a victory? Polls will open. Blah, blah. Well, I hear. They close at 8.30 p.m. Newfoundland time. Which is like 3 a.m. No, it's it's different. Okay, hold on. 8.30 p.m. Newfoundland time, Atlantic time. Okay, Atlantic times. 7.30 a.m. Eastern. There we go. There's some language. You know, we can understand that, right? 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is, is when, it, when, it, when it ends. So, <laughs> so it doesn't end. Well, okay. Oh, oh, here we go. Eastern Standard Time. 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. That's a little bit better. And we have there, there's once again the 177. 177. 175. Now, what's, what's, what's going on? What, who, who, who's going to win? Let's see what this guy says. Now, in all fair, I want to say, well, Global News, let's, I don't remember which one is this. Is Global News conservative or, or I think that they're, I don't even remember. Dang it. Well, if you take a look at what's happening okay. overall, well, there's been very uh, little Goody movement Bird since the start here. of the election campaign. Oh, we have the Goody Conservatives Bird, I can't hear you. very slight lead, 32 to 31 over the Liberal Party, and we have the NDP up at 18. Uh, so basically what you're seeing is a very tight election uh, that we will probably be ha having to watch all the way through British Columbia before we figure out. All right. Action. So. So it's uh, pretty neck and neck here, man. You know, pretty neck and neck. I would vote for Singh, by the way. I'm not Canadian, but I would vote for Singh. I don't know anything about him. Uh, a man who wears a pink, what do you call that? I know he's, I think he's Sikh, and I don't know what this is called, but uh, I don't know if this is usual for a man to wear a pink one, but, you know, you got to vote for a man that wears pink. Anytime a man wears pink, unless he's gay, I'm not saying you wouldn't go for vote for a gay man. I'm, I just mean, if you are heterosexual, 
and you wear pink and you're a man, you're awesome. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You live it. You wear it. You love it. You earn it. You know, you just do it. You just live your life. You know, you live your best life now. I mean, if you're gay, you know, it's more, you know, the cliche. It's, I mean, it's a cliche, whatever. But, you know, it is the cliche that it is. You know, if you're gay, you probably like pink. But there are heterosexual manly men who like pink. We're representing. Not that you can't be manly and gay. You can because I know plenty of gay men who kick my butt. But I'm, I would vote for saying. So there you go, folks. There's a little bit of a, a prepper here for the Canadian election. The latest Ipsos poll of federal elections give conservatives a small lead. So we'll see what happens. I may do a follow-up video on this or I might not even care because humans. <laughs>